Riley Smith. I'm a co-owner of Recaptured Values. I'm going to bring another video tutorial here today. Somebody suggested in the comments of the last video to do a double bow on a nylon. And so um, we currently don't offer this style in our shop, but um, I figured I could take a whack at it and figured it out. So I'm going to share the secrets with you guys. It's really cute and I definitely think we're about to offer it in our shop because it's amazing. So if you want to buy the bows, recapturedvalues.com. Okay, but here's the tutorial on how to do this. Um, a lot of these steps, you're going to have to watch the previous video just to see how I cut the fabric to get to this point, but um, let's get started. All right, fabric here. This, if you watched the previous video, I cut fabric using um, this ruler, 24 inches this way, five inches this way. I cut every single head wrap at five inches. Um, that includes the bows on nylon. Um, so this is perfect for all of that. You don't have to measure, you just lay it on there and cut. So for this, um, for the head wrap, I cut selvage to selvage. So I have two pieces right here because selvage to selvage, this is a selvage here, this is selvage. Um, which selvage to selvage means it's across the stretch with the fabric is normally going to be your stretch. Some fabric is weird, but most of the time bullet knit is going to be like this. So um, this is one full head wrap piece that I cut in the previous video. So I just cut it in half. I just folded it and cut it. So, okay. Um, so here, I fold it here, fold it in half. You're going to find the middle, basically. You just find the middle. Um, I already marked it. Here, just so I'd know. You can kind of see the tiny dots. It's not really important uh, what kind of marker or pen you use um, because it, it's going in the knot. So, find your middle. Uh, basically, what I do is I take the nylon um, and bring it to the middle part here. Um, so, the, the lines, you're going to basically fold your lines. It doesn't really matter exactly how you do it, but that's, that's the gist of what I did. So, I do like this. And then I hold this side. I'm kind of just holding here. So, um, similar to the last one, you're gonna. It's just gonna take a little bit more work with holding because otherwise you're gonna move and you're gonna end up having more fabric on one side than the other. This is no big deal, but it's just easier to get right at the beginning. So I'm gonna hold this. Basically, you're just holding the knot, the part that's holding the, the nylon there. Um, so I'm gonna create a our first loop. So you're going to hold it like this, pretty much just create the first loop. See, the nylon's underneath my finger here, I don't, it's uh, on the other side, but, okay. So hold that there, and this other piece, which is still, it's behind the nylon, um, you see that, it's behind the nylon. So you're going to move this one out of the way. Uh, like I said, it's not difficult, it just requires a little bit more focus on what you're doing. Um, so this piece here. We are going to do pretty much the same thing we did with the last one. doesn't really matter how it goes. You're going to go around your bow piece here. Around it. And then move this out of the way. Because you don't really have to worry about that. Um, so that's how it's going to be right there. Then you're going to go through the knot. So you see my finger still here? I'm going to pull it through where my finger is. Um, it's important that you hold on to it back here because you can pull it through and then you'll mess up your first knot. But so, um, don't let that part go through. So, you let go here and you pull this part just like we did in the head wrap video. You pull the length right here, the slack out of this one here. Um, and then you fluff that one bow piece up because you got one bow piece now, you fluff it up. Basically, you just pull the edges and separate it. Don't pull too hard because this fabric is known to fray a little bit, but it doesn't really typically fray. Um, so for this, um, I just like to make sure that the inside is facing up. This piece, the, the outside, is facing up. So here's the bow piece. Here's the nylon. Keep it pulled to the bottom part here because it's going to sit the best on um, the child's head when it's pulled to the bottom. So, um, we're gonna use this piece because it's the longest, which means that's the slack piece that we pulled. Um, so we're gonna basically do the exact same thing we did with the head wrap. And we're gonna go through the knot. So this part right here, we're gonna go right in there to push this part through. Go right there. Okay, so I'm gonna do that now. 
Um, sometimes you may take like an object, like a pen or something, and if you tie this part too tight and you can't maneuver it in that hole, you may need to grab a, like a, a pen to push it through or something. So like, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use the marker that I used to mark it. Obviously you would do this with the cap on, just to push it through. Saves your fingers over time. But, so then you just pull this through here like this. And it's kind of starting to look like what we made on our last video. A okay, double bow head wrap. Um, I kind of got the knot kind of crooked. Just manipulate the knot to go to the back so you don't have this weird knot on the top of the kid's head. Um, all right. So, now it's starting to look like the other one did, right? Where you have two pieces, you have two bow pieces here. Um, all right, so picking up here. Um, basically, you're going to go through the knot again. So take this part. This part, this is the inside facing up. So is this one inside facing up. So basically, you're just going to go to the knot. You can do the, the boop boops that we did last time. Um, so fold it in a knot or fold it in a sandwich. And then just poke it through the back of the knot here. Um, sometimes it's easier to kind of like, if you see, it might be easier to go there rather than there because you're able to hide the, the leftover piece inside the bow. Um, takes practice to really know where you're going with that. So um, when you do it like that, it comes in the middle of this bow piece. Can you see it? Okay, so I'm gonna pull that through. Don't pull it too tight because you only have just enough to make this bow. You're not really gonna be cutting off m much of this with, if you cut it just right. Um, so, and then as I did with the previous video, I like to make them a little nicer by tucking the, tucking a bow inside of the other bow. So now with this piece, and as also with the other video, I like to manipulate the bow so that all the pieces are in there just right. Sometimes it's impossible, but sometimes you can do it. It just takes a little work to manipulate it to be how you want it. Again, breathe because it's just fabric. You can't hurt it. I mean, um, I, I totally suggest using cheaper fabric to practice just in case you do mess it up. I wouldn't try to do this out with your um, your expensive fabric, your custom fabric that costs a lot of money. I wouldn't do that. So um, we got the, those two. We got this piece left here. We're going to do the same thing pretty much. Um, <laughs> That's my child. Okay, so um, the last piece here is going to be this last bow flap. Um, basically, you do the exact same thing here. And you're just going to go, like I said, the best place to go is going to be right there. Because it's going to allow you to hide the flap in there. So we're going to do that. And like I said, you can use a marker or whatever if it gets so tight that you can't push it through. Um, it's easier to save your fingers to push it through with the marker. But so as you see, it's coming through right here. Um, again, don't pull too through, don't pull too hard, um, because you'll pull the bow piece out and it's not really that big of a deal, but I mean, it, it's easier to just not do that. So again, you can tuck it in a piece. This one kind of worked out to where I don't have to tuck it cause it's really pretty. Um, so I'm not going to tuck that one. It's coming back on baby girl. Yeah, it's coming back on. Our show went off. <laughs> okay. It's back on. Yep, it's back on. Oh, no. It's coming back on, sweetheart. It's back on. Look, there it goes. Okay. So basically, that's how you do it. And that's really, really pretty. That's prettier than the first one that I did. Um, <laughs> okay. So basically, that's how you do the double wrap on. Um, like I said, it's easier if you pull the, the nylon down to the bottom just because when you put it on a head, um, it sits up nice and pretty. Like a lot of people have issues with it flopping or whatever. That's the best way. Even if you aren't making a bow and you just want to make yours sit up better, try to pull it down as long as it isn't hot glued. A lot of some places hot glue. We try not to do that, but um, we hot glue clips. We don't hot glue nylons. 
But this way you have, that's the back. And you see that there's not really a knot that's going to hurt your kid's head. And you see the front. Basically, it doesn't really matter which way you wear it. Because um, it's pretty much reversible. But there it is. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let me know down in the comments what, what you guys want to see us do tutorials on. We're sharing all the secrets. So, all right. So that video pretty much sums up how to do a double bow on a nylon band. Um, this is a really good option for kids who don't like the restriction of a full blown head wrap. Um, this is easier for parents too. Again, you can sew this, um, the knot to secure it so that bow yankers don't pull it off and yank it. This one's not really gonna, um, sorry, a little, um, this one's not really going to come undone as easy just because the kid's normally not going to yank the whole bow. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you guys have any other suggestions on what tutorials we should do in the future, comment down below. Make sure you subscribe to see all the videos and the tutorials that we'll be bringing to you in the future. So again, really hope you enjoyed this and I hope it helps a lot of you guys out, moms and um, even dads, you know, whatever. Do you, boo. All right. Thanks, guys. Make sure to subscribe.